Good evening, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live on our Patreon channel. And I'm sure many of you are already hearing about this massive police presence in Miami. Okay, just insane presence. Uh, and of course, the media spinning this as, oh well, uh, they just needed these hundreds of police because there was some type of, uh, you know, altercation going on between youth using sticks. Listen, I was in law enforcement, uh, and I can tell you right now, you would never have that massive of a police presence because uh, some kids are getting into it with sticks. Uh, you know, you might get 10, 20 cars. Sure, you could get that. But just from what I can see on the screen, just what you can see on the screen there, you're looking already about 40 police cars and more of them flooding in. Now, there's been reports coming out that there was some type of alien giants. In fact, this young lady here on TikTok there, um, let's see, I don't know. That's her username right there. You can see it there for yourself. Uh, I really appreciate <clears throat> what she did in her TikTok video because she goes into the biblical aspect and she clearly realized, as Jesus said, as it was in the days of <clears throat> Noah, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. Can't help but wonder if that girl hasn't listened to one of our videos, right? <clears throat> so let me just, after she deals with it, um, after she deals with the whole scenario here, looking at that herself, then she goes into this part. I really appreciate it. I, I really, ha my hat's off to her. Listen, listen to this. Uh, hang on one second, though. We gotta get the volume up. As a Miami citizen, I would be demanding my taxpayer dollar back. Something much larger, much bigger, far more giant and sinister happened there that night in Miami at that mall. And just like the witnesses all stated, it wasn't kids with sticks. That looks way more like the response to a threat of eight to 10 feet tall creatures, whether aliens or zombies or Nephilim and mall goers having to respond by pew pewing to the scripture or overlooking one massive detail. Here we one go. One big detail, a giant detail. When it comes to the days of Noah, sure they were eating and drinking and marrying and sinning and fornication, mm -hmm. but it hasn't man been sinning that way well since the beginning of sin. The one thing that was different about the days of Noah, different from all of the regular days filled with sin of man, there were giants in those days. And according to the Bible, and there were giants after. There were giants even after the Genesis flood. Very good. So <clears throat> I was just, I wanted to bring that out because I thought it was kind of cool that she brought that out. Same with uh, this, where is it at? This guy right here as well. Thank you, Elizabeth, for sending this to me. Gabe uh, Porat, and Gabe, uh, no doubt, is a Christian young man as well. He also brings out that part. But in his, he plays this clip here of a black guy talking about what he saw there. And it reminded me of the video footage that we were hearing about down uh, in South America. They were fading in and out. They're multidimensional. And the thing is, how many of you remember here on Patreon, I shared with you a little while back, you're going to start seeing dimensions collide. That's actually written in ancient documents that there will be a, a, a mingling, as one way has been put, a mingling of dimensions. A collapse of dimensions is what it says in the uh, Egyptian documents. Uh, collapse of the dimensions. And uh, But as I was told from the intelligence community, you're going to see a mingling of dimensions to where suddenly you're going to be walking along and you're going to see creatures fading in and out from other worlds. And keep that in mind. I shared that with you here already on Patreon. So as you listen to this guy's testimony, then you're going to, it's going to bring that back to your memory. Listen in explain everything to you. You would start to understand why we've been seeing the things that happened in Las Vegas and now Miami. And yeah, we happen to be at that mall. Start hearing all this commotion outside. Sound like fire, firecrackers or something. I'm saying, I, next thing I know, 
it's like crazy we just see all these people running that fat fat chicks old ladies like i'm talking about moving i look back it looked like a big shadow but it was solid at the same time like a few few shadows but they were solid at the same time and them, it's, it almost looked like they was coming our direction like they was chasing us but they was disappearing and reappearing closer I'm like, yo, what? He start really moving. Next thing you, they start the police just on the. <laughs> he start really moving. And ran out the mall. They like trying to detain these people, whatever. A lot of people saying, why didn't nobody film and all that? But that type of is going on, like some paranormal. Nobody thinking about no phone. I'm saying everybody going survival mode. Nobody knows. Of course, it could be fireworks, teens fighting. I, I don't even know if I'm allowed to share this, but I have gotten information through an indirect source from someone who is in the FBI who has been watching my videos and testified about how the things that I'm saying are accurate and how they even have these bodies. You know, there's a set of creatures that have been documented and testified <clears throat> of throughout every civilization to try to get Gabe of on. all I'd of like history. Who could him. it be? Sure enough, the Nephilim. Now, before you react, before you go crazy, Gabe, this is, this is just another one of your conspiracy theories. Check out what the Bible said, and then we can start to understand who indeed this could have been. And as real as people are accepting that the spiritual realm is, it's still not something that everyone just wants to be open and upfront about. And you'll understand why when you see this. And I can't even believe I'm making this video, but it, it really is happening. Again, 10 years ago. Yeah, it is happening. And of course, we were sharing with you that these events would start transpiring. And you're just getting to the beginning of it. It's going to get worse much worse. Uh, you know, even the government has in captivity all types of uh, alien creatures. In fact, I was uh, told about one that really blew me away, vampires. There really are vampires, and they really do look human. They do not look like uh, some weird creature. And so I asked the question when I was being told about vampires. I said, well, do they suck the blood of humans? And I was told they suck the blood of infants. This is what they go for. And it's because it gives them longevity of life. That's how sick it is. Not to mention, I uh, was told recently of uh, another skeleton remain that Israel has discovered in Gaza. They're keeping that hush hush as well. And I don't know if you guys, if I've, I think I've spoken about this before, but the giants, when they die from, from the ancient times to the Andalusian destruction, I don't know if it's because of the pressure, the weight of the soil, whatever the case may be uh, from that time period, but it is believed that gold is actually derived from the blood of those giants, uh, that somehow or another through the time period, I, I would assume something similar to that of fossil, uh, not fossils, but like in the case of petrified wood, you know, in wood uh, out in the desert because of the climate, etc., things like that, it turns to like a stone. Uh, but yet it was wood. Uh, there's a lot of things that petrify like that. So good question. I don't know the answer to all of this, but I, I find it interesting that uh, more of these things are being unearthed, even though they are keeping that all hush hush. I get to hear about some of this from time to time. I like to share that with you. And I thought, like I said, hats off to Gabe and to this other young lady there for bringing this up, connecting it with the Bible. And in fact, those of you that watch Israeli News Live, you know, I just shared that teaching recently about the full armor of God. And the first thing in the full armor of God was girding your loins with truth. And that Greek word is procreative power. So if you're to have that girded with truth, then that means you need to know the truth of what really happened, how they commingled the seed and brought forth Nephilim because they're still up to the same old tricks. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. God bless you guys in the craziest time ever on the planet of this earth. We're about to go through some really wacky things.